Okay, welcome at Howler's How to Ride School. Um, this will be our first episode. Uh, given a little bit over the basics, I'm gonna do two videos in this one session because um, I got it all set up here. I got an extra camera over there so you can see what I'm actually doing. I have my license plate taped up so I can show you the full uh, image without having to blur anything out. We're gonna talk about our first lesson, how we're just gonna shift the bike, what the throttle, the brake and the clutch and all that does, what brakes are what, got the rear brake and the front brake, I'll explain all that. And the uh, second will be short turns, short radius turns and figure eights. And maybe I'll do a third video on slow riding, like really, 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 really slow riding. Right, so on our first video, when you have the bike, you obviously want to turn it on and start it with this button right here. Most sport bikes will have a button right here below the light switch and the kill switch. Now before we do that, I'm just going to show you what it takes to actually get going on a bike. Let me turn over to the other side here. On the right hand side, we have everything that controls acceleration and deceleration, which means throttle and brakes. The lever, which you, which you take with your front hand, your right hand, that's your front brake. This will be your main power brake. With this brake, you will have roughly around 80 to 90 percent of the stopping power of the bike. The rear brake is a pedal which you apply with your right foot. This breaks the rear tire, the rear wheel. Now you want to use that for slight decelerations, um, for more control when you're doing very slow speed and very short corners and um, your throttle of course everybody knows this twist it open twist it closed now um, to get going you don't need a lot of throttle that's uh, something most people will be afraid of when they get on a bike is the uh, whiskey throttle where they take off and they out of panic squeeze open the throttle and they just run into the building. Right, so what you want to do on the other hand, the left hand side, twisting this has absolutely nothing. There's nothing you can do with that. However, this lever, that's your clutch. Same as in a car. If you're not used to driving a stick shift, don't listen to this part. This is exactly the same as the far left clutch, the pedal in the car. You, What this does is it uh, effectively breaks or disengages the clutch which means the engine has no connection anymore with the rear wheel this is good for when you're shifting because you don't want to mess up your gearbox shifting is done with this pedal now most bikes have this standard shift phase which i can show you here first gear is all the way below slightly up of that is neutral then we have second third fourth fifth sixth so the neutral is in between first and second now for new guys this is a little bit of a hard spot to find neutral but to help you with that you have an end light on your gauge so you want to use that to see whether or not you're in neutral or not if you're unsure take a you're probably holding the make sure that you're always clutching uh, when you come to a rest and when the you're changing the pedal. If you're unsure, slowly let go. If you can feel the bike wants to move, you're not in neutral. Right, so when you actually want to take off, what you want to do is make sure your, your side stand is kicked in because otherwise, and let me just show you, in neutral with the side stand out, it will start, we clutch, and when you put it in first gear, it stalls. Now you want to check this before you buy a bike make sure that it does this because what this helps with is if you were to be able to um, get into first gear while the engine's running with the standout you are able to take off with the side standout now if you then go in a left corner and the side stand hits the road the rear wheel lifts off the ground and you go down we don't want that so make sure the stand is in 
if the neutral light is on you can be fairly sure you can start it without clutching but to be sure always clutch now I'm fairly certain that it's a neutral so I can disengage the clutch no problem what you want to do first let me just drop the gloves down there is clutch it put it in first gear and without touching the the throttle is slowly let go and you will feel that the bike will start to, to move forward a bit see that's the point where you that's what you call the friction zone and that's what you want to learn how to you want to know exactly where that point is once you've done that you can start moving with the bike and start walking around on it just like that not too fast if you're going too fast pull the clutch in and slowly very gently apply the front brake don't squeeze it too hard because what happens when you squeeze it too hard is the bike dives and you might lose control left or right so slowly apply the front brake or just break it down with your feet let me just slowly turn around here so that we can see that from another angle I'm not using any throttle by the way a very slow throttle so let go of the clutch a little bit bike will start to move and you start to walk with it okay if you got that down you can go up to the next step by the way I am not using any throttle to turn this bike around um, this is only a 600 cc but it has plenty of power to slowly take off it's not gonna jet start off when I let go of this thing it will just stall but what you want to do if you're confident that you can take off normally is you want to give it a little bit of throttle at the moment that you're reaching the friction zone and you want to pull your feet in both foot on the pegs clutch completely out as quickly as possible from the moment that you feel like okay there's no more difference if you want to come to a stop clutch and slowly break it off and that's basically our first video if you're unsure about the front brake use the rear note that if you're using the rear brake you cannot put your right foot out because you're using it to push on the pedal of course so if you're a bit unsure about this gently gently feather the front brake look at this the bike is moving all on its own at this moment it's very nimble but as you can see it's a bit Duh, 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 duh. and that's why you if slow riding you want to use a little bit of throttle and work it on the clutch so this has been our first video let me shut it off there put the kickstand on this has been our first video on how to get moving on a bike um, once again I do not want to see you get hurt so if you're unsure take it slow take it easy make sure you're wearing the proper gear as you can see, I'm, I'm actually wearing my full leather suit, helmet. I should have been wearing my gloves, but this is easier to show you guys what I'm actually talking about. I um, got the boots on as well. So uh, I'm fairly confident that I can ride a bike around this parking lot without hurting myself or the bike or dropping it or anything. Um, but if you're unsure, make sure you got the proper gear on. You have loads of space. Don't try this out in traffic. Don't just take off and think, I'll learn it on the go. Take some time, make sure you got the bike right. If it's your first bike, you're probably not that expensive, but um, nobody wants to see a, even a two grand bike hit the floor, right? So see you guys on the next video.